Hi, my name is Yannick Lefebvre. I'm the author of the Link Library plugin for WordPress. And this is the first of a series of tutorials showing you how to install Link Library, how to configure it, and how to get the best out of it to be able to create pages that contain all of your links on your website. Now, to go through these tutorials, I've installed a fresh copy of WordPress 3.9, and I've already pre-installed the Link Library plugin. So if I just quickly go under my plugin section what I will see is that I'm running uh, link library version 5855 which is the current latest version now to use link library you need to obviously have created links so when you install link library it will automatically bring up the links editor inside of WordPress now this editor is hidden by default in any WordPress install in version 3.5 or above but then installing link library will turn on some code that will bring back this editor to be able to create links. The first thing to do after you activate link library is to go and create some link categories. If you do not have any link categories, link library will not work correctly. You'll most likely get a, an, a page that just says no links found when you try to display your links. So go under link categories and make sure you create multiple one or more categories to be able to assign to your links then go and create links and make sure that for every one of them you've actually assigned a category after you've created links on your website you're ready to start displaying them using link library and the way we'll do this is it could be on a page or on a post in this example, we'll use a page as that's the most common use for Link Library, and we'll go in and create a new page. We'll simply call this uh, Useful Links, and then we get in the body of the page. Now, the only thing that we need to specify at a bare minimum on this page is going to be the shortcode Link Library with a dash in the middle. And then I can go and publish this page and if I go and view it what I will see is they have a simple page with a list of my links I can see that I have the categories listed for each uh, of the groups of links I will also see that each of these bring me to different URLs based on what I entered inside of the tool what I will finally see is that I have edit links that show up here now these only show up because I'm currently logged in to the site as the administrator if I was a regular visitor coming to this site and trying to see these links, I would not see these items on the right hand side. Now the other thing that I can do if I have a lot of categories is I can display a listing of all these categories that will become links to be able to be uh, to quickly jump to these different link categories on the page. The way I would do this is to go back to edit page and then I will add link library cats with a space just before link library and so by doing this what I'm going to get let's go back to view the page is a page that's going to have two links up here tech podcasts and video game podcast now what I can do with these is that if I click on tech podcast I will see that it jumps to put that category at the top of the, view, the viewable area. The same thing would have happened if I had come back here and clicked on video game podcasts. Of course here it's going to get to the bottom of the page but if this was somewhere midway through the page it would make sure that this had focus and it would be put at the top of the page. So, there, so far I've used two different short codes the link library shortcode and the link library cat shortcode. Now a few things that you want to make sure if you don't get links showing up properly is A you want to make sure that you've completely emptied out they're empty by default but uh, you make sure you want to make sure there's nothing under categories to be displayed so it displays all categories and there are no excluded categories. If any of these have numbers in them and they're wrong then you won't see anything so that's something else to keep in mind to get a proper first version of link library running thank you and stay tuned for more tutorials